who will be present at the King Charles's coronation ceremony from the U.S. First Lady Jill Biden will fly over the pool to lead the U.S. designation. King Charles III is set to legitimately undertake the sovereignty in a profoundly sacred ceremony on Saturday, eight calendar month after the demise of his mum Queen Elizabeth II. Over 2,000 invitees are anticipated to join the British Kingdom's 39th coronation service at Westminster Abbey. This is a snapshot of the inventory of the attendees, who is coming from U.S. First Lady Jill Biden will be their King Charles's, however President Joe Biden will not be attending, no U.S. commander-in-chief has ever graced that occasion. The King's or Queen's coronation, Biden attended Queen Elizabeth II's memorial service and burial in September. Laura Beers, a professor of British history at American University, said previously according to history, it was practically difficult for a sitting leader to fly abroad to a coronation. Beers reiterated that U.S. presidents never attend proceedings such as crowning the king's and queen's coronations because of the nation's independence from the ruling of the United Kingdom. Beers said and I quote it wasn't really a place for the U.S. president. And I think Biden is keeping with that tradition. It doesn't have anything to do about U.S. foreign policies towards Britain, about the nature of the special relationship or anything. It's just this is a British and Commonwealth affair. The U.S. designation, headed by Jill Biden, will also incorporate distinctive macroclimate diplomat John Kerry, who has labored with Charles on weather ingenuities. President Dwight D. Eisenhower will send a representative of four affiliates in his position. Prince Harry will also fly to his dad's crowning ceremony but will not perform any function in the ceremonial event. Harry's wife, Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, is remaining in California with their kids. Singers and American Idol judges Lionel Richie and Katy Perry will get on the stage to thrill visitors at King Charles's coronation gig on Sunday. It's about their roles. Well, we found out because the, the order of service was released over the weekend. So we know that uh, William is going to actually have a, a fairly prominent role. Um, he's going to appear at least twice in the coronation. I mean, obviously there'll be shots of him there. Um, but two roles. At one point, um, the king has to, there's a lot of wardrobe changes, to be honest. Um, and at one point, he's going to be actually helping the clergy um, uh, put a robe and a stole on his father. And then the, probably the most important part is near the very end, uh, once the king has been crowned, and he takes what is called the homage, which is basically swears an oath of loyalty to him, and and he becomes his liege man of life and limb, which is a lovely phrase um, that was heard a lot in 1953. But it'll simply be uh, William, the Archbishop of Canterbury, and then there'll be the homage from the people, if the people want to make an oath. All right, and uh, what more do we know about the Canadian contingent, Patricia? By the way, I see my other monitor. I think we have part of the Canadian contingent <laughs> standing by to join us here on the TMS, but we know the Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, yep. will be in attendance. What can you tell us about Canada's role in the coronation this weekend? Well, the Prime Minister will not only be in attendance, he'll actually be in the procession entering the Abbey. Um, so all the realm countries, remember there's 15, including Britain, Canada, Australia, and the, and the like, and they're actually going to be in the, in the procession. So we're going to have, with all the flags of each nation, the Governor General, so Mary Simon, and the Prime Minister, uh, Justin Trudeau, will walk with the other realms um, into the procession. There will also be, for the anointing screen, so this is a screen that kind of shields the king at the most sacred moment of the coronation. It's going to be in, it's done in emblems of the Commonwealth. So Canada's name is on it and things like that. And then at the very end of the